is Zons the Ramen Raider coming at you with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time. This is the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. Today from Pamana, we have beef goto, Filipino style, kanji, and it says it's gluten free. So that is good for those of that persuasion of being glut anti glutinous. I think that's, that's cool. My wife, she does not like the gluten. Well, she likes the gluten, but the gluten doesn't like her. So there's our rice. Basically like if you took minute rice and put it in a blender. And then there's our flavor. Well, it's pronounced as flavor. Our Let's go to Flavorland, and then we've got, uh, this was I think are Bitso Beef. Everybody likes Bitso Beef. There's our Bitso Beef. And, yeah. So what we do is we take this. I know, I don't know if she's going to like this one, because to me... It smells kind of fishy. And if there's one thing I know that my my wife dislikes, it's fishiness. She's not one for fishy business, folks. Not at all. So, but we'll see. I'll let her try it. Okay, five minutes. So, what's going on? Not much. Our weather really has taken a turn. It's fall now, and uh, all the leaves are green, but the sky is gray. I don't know how he gets on it, guys, but uh, my son, Miles, now is listening to uh, California Dreamin' ad nauseum and it's like I was like wait a second there was a movie so there was there was a series of films under the rolling thunder pictures uh, distribution group I don't know it was it was something that uh, Quentin Tarantino did and there was some really weird, obscure films. I've got some of them, I believe, on VHS. And uh, they weren't movies he made. He didn't have any part in them, but he, maybe he bought them, like the rights to those films, and then re-released them for some reason. There's, there's pretty good ones. There was one called Switchblade Sisters, which was like a bunch of teenage girls in the 70s that were just like a, an angry gang you know like a, a pulp dime storm like a pulp fiction novel that would be you know it was like they ran around and they cut each other and all this stuff and then uh what was another one there were a bunch well, there was one of them that was like in hong kong and they played california dream and like 20 times in that movie and that was like the only thing I really remember about it what, what else was there those Switchblade Sisters I think those two were the only ones that really come to mind that was something else but anyways yeah what, my sister used to work at a place called Crazy Mike's Video in Anacortes and when, we went, when they went out of business all their videos were like a buck a piece and since she worked there, I got to go in there the day before they were going to do that. And I picked out a ton of crap. One of them was this movie with Michael, Philip Michael Thomas in it called Death Drug. Um, there was one called Crack House. There was one called White Justice. Um, just like Black Gestapo. Um, what else? Uh, Action USA. Action USA is one of the like weirdest, lowest budget, hardcore action films. A lot of a lot of camera shots of people getting punched in the face from their perspective. Um, 
But yeah, just some really weird stuff. Uh, a Japanese show that looks a lot like uh, maybe like an early 70s version of Power Rangers called Spectre Man. Super cheesy, good stuff. But yeah, I ended up getting a lot of really, really obscure VHS tapes, which I still have. I do have a VCR, but I mean, I'm not trying to plug it in, you know. I could get like a, I want, I did just get a thing that converts HDMI or uh, the connector that's on a, uh, oh, a Nintendo Wii to HDMI and that worked out great. I wonder if there's one that you can do with like the composite and switch it to HDMI. It would make sense, but I have yet to do that. Um, what else is going on? My wife informed me that I need to moisturize my face. That's important. So she's been moisturizing my face. I don't like to wash my face. I'm going to tell you that right now. I don't like to wash my I just... So she's taking it upon herself to like grab my face and scrub it and put stuff on it, which I really appreciate. It's really kind. Nobody's ever grabbed me by the face and like tried to clean it. So that's cool. Um... The, 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 the people are coming tomorrow to fix our couch. The one that the dog chewed the cord through and the motor. It's a motorized, powerful chair. And they're going to fix my side of the couch tomorrow. Fingers crossed that they will actually fix it, but, you know. And then they're going to, yeah, then they'll leave, which I like. They'll come to our house, do something we need them to do, and then they'll... Get out of here. All right, our kanji. Oh, it smells beefy. You know what I need? I need uh, saltine crackers. That's a thing you find. It's a thing. Um, there are varieties of Filipino instant noodles that come with saltine crackers to crunch up and put in with it? I don't know. I, it makes sense. Soup and crackers, soup and crackers. But soup and noodles and crackers? I don't know, but that's kind of a thing of theirs. This looks interesting. I'm gonna give it more of a stir just to be safe. But indeed, this is a gluten-free food. Sans gluten, without gluten. Cheers. Well, let me blow on it first. Okay, cheers. Hmm. Kind of got a garlic to it. It's not bad. It reminds me of like chicken and stars condensed soup. Except with chicken and stars soup, it's really thin. This is much thicker than that. Which I like even better. It's like chunky chicken and stars soup. Yeah. You know, chunk chunky soups. Yeah. It's a good thing. I like this. Is it ramen? No. I know that. I'm well aware. Guy who is probably, since the first of this series started coming out, is saying, that's not ramen. That's not ramen. Ah. I don't know. I like to go off about the fictitious humans that get all been out of shape. Some people do. The only reason I mention it is because these are things that have happened before. And if they do happen, it's all right. You know, it's, it's kind of fun. It adds to the, the mystic, the mystery, the, the, the funning. Here, now it'll rotate. That's not ramen either.
thanks for watching. Yeah, if you've never tried Filipino instant noodles or congee or anything like that, you might want to, you might be surprised. There's things like sotangan, it's kind of like a chicken noodly one. Um, there's bok choy, like La Paz bok choy. Uh, one that's popular is pancit, pancit canton, which if you're a big fan of mi garang, you'll find a lot of similarities. Excuse me, too. Um, mi garang is very popular in Indonesia. Well, literally a stone's throw away is the Philippines, are the Philippines. So, yeah. Anyways, this has been Hansel Ramonator. Wishing you enjoyment of noodles each and every day. Like, subscribe, really helps me out. And, uh, yeah. Go, uh... Go try to catch a squirrel. All right, bye-bye.